Hello everyone. So today we are going to look at this module ESP32 CAM. So when you buy this, you get two products and ESP32 camera module and two megapixel camera. It has a lots of features and components on the board. So as you can see on the top side, you have an LED for the flashlight, a connector for this camera, SD card reader. So and if you turn it up, as you can see, it has ESP32S module with an antenna connector. So this ESP32S has 32 bit CPU that works on 160 megahertz. It has a inbuilt RAM of 512 KB, 4 MB of external static RAM that can be used. And there is a reset button. So let's see how we can connect this camera. So to connect the camera, all you have to do, you have to put this camera right here. Make sure that you inserted it properly and then push the connector and that's connected. Since this board doesn't come with any inbuilt programmer, you need an FTDI programmer to upload your sketch to this board. As you can see, I have connected the board with the FTDI programmer. 3.3 volt will be connected to 3.3 volt. Ground will be connected to ground. RX pin of the FTDI programmer will be connected to TX pin of the ESP32 cam. And the TX pin of the FTDI programmer will be connected to the RX pin of the board. And GPIO0 of the camera module needs to be connected to ground. This will put your code into the programming mode. So let's go to the computer and see how to upload your sketch. So the first thing that we will do, we will go to Arduino IDE. I am hoping that you have already installed it. Go to File, Preferences, and the Board Manager URL, and add this URL. You can get this URL from the description section of the video. Go ahead and now go to Board Managers and search for ESP32 and ESP32 by Express if install this library and once it's done close this. So now the first thing that we want to do is we want to select I think our ESP32 camera. So select the port. Now go to files, example, and right here you can see ESP32 camera and camera web server. So this is the sketch that we want to upload. So first thing we need to uncomment this because we are using this module and you need to update your Wi-Fi credentials. Save this on somewhere on your system. I'm going to save it on the desktop and hit upload. Once you get this message, just remove the jumper wire that we have connected to GPIO0 and then click on the reset button. And as you can see, this is the IP address that we need to connect. So let's go and open browser. So when you open the IP address in the browser, you get a web page with lots of settings that you can play with. So when you click on the start stream button, uh, video stream will be started on a canvas. So there are lots of settings and lots of modes that you can choose and resolutions as well. So I just started playing with it and tried to get the best setting that I can get for a better image in the video. You can play that and it's really fun. After playing with it some time, I really wanted to see the face detection and face recognition feature. So when you turn on the face detection, you can see a square drawn on the face in the video. And when you turn on the face recognition feature, it will initially say intruder. But when you enroll that face, it will take few screenshots, five actually, and 
when it compares and it founds that person into the video it will say subject zero found once the code is uploaded there is no need to plug it into the computer via the FTDI programmer you can just provide it 5 volt or 3.3 volt from any power source and it will work like I have done here I have mounted it on a platform where I can use it anytime if you like this project please give me a like and subscribe the channel thank you very much